What's going on everybody? It's your boy Brap Genius back at again with another video. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to ride a dirt bike. Yeah, start it off right boys! Oh yeah, bro! Send it! Yeah. <laughs> So for anyone that knows this channel, you've probably seen my original video, How to Ride a Dirt Bike. I made it a couple years ago. Uh, that's going to be at the end of this video if you want to check that one out too. I've been riding for many years since that video, and since then I figured why not do an update of How to Ride a Dirt Bike. So now that I have more experience, you know, I really want to just go through and, and teach you guys things that I've learned since I started, um, just to make it a little bit easier for you. So we're going to get into everything. I'm going to break this up into a couple different parts for you guys, uh, just so you can learn at whatever step that you want to learn at. They're out today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So before I go everything, first off, you got to have a bike. The bike that you learn on, make sure you're capable of handling it. My brother, when he started riding dirt bikes, he went on my uh, YZ125. Uh, he was a little cocky, and uh, he ended up hitting a tree. I'll put that up for you real quick. Easy, buddy. Break, break, break. Oh, my gosh. I saw so I'm sure you guys don't want to end up like him. Um, you know, basically just listen to what I'm telling you here. You guys are going to be fine. Make sure you're riding a bike that's not too powerful so you don't end up crashing and hurting yourself. I will say this. Crashing is a normal part of riding. You're going to crash. You know, get over it. You can crash slowly, you know, but you're going to have to crash. It's part of the game. It's something you got to get used to. It's not the end of the world. You get back up, get back on the bike. So the first part of this video, I'm going to go over the different parts of a dirt bike before we actually go on and ride it, okay? Now, to make this very simple for you guys, anything that's related to braking is on the right side. Anything that's related to the controls of the bike is basically on the left side, all right? So we're going to start on the right side with the braking, all right? Over here, you have your brake. This is your front brake up top, okay? On the bottom down here, right there. This is your rear brake. You're mostly going to want to use your rear brake in combination with the front brake. Be aware if you're going down a hill or if you're going fast. If you grab the front brake too hard, you're going to end up flying over the bars. Whereas if you lock up your rear brake, you're going to slide a little bit, but you'll get used to it as time goes on. Like I said, using the rear brake is probably what you want to use the most. In my first video, I talked about using the front brake, which I do use a lot, um, but I probably should have been using more of my rear brake at the time of that video. That's pretty much it for the braking. On this side, we're just going to stay over here as well. If you have an older dirt bike, you're going to have a kickstarter like this. This is what you're going to use to start your bike uh, and, and turn it on, essentially. Some of you will have some a little button over here that's going to be an electric starter. If you have a newer bike, that's what you're going to be using. This right here, this is my own. I put on an LED headlight onto this bike. It's street legal. Um, so that's, that's something completely separate. This is your gas tank. This is where the gas goes. Pop this off, pop it in, and you're good to go. Over to our left side, we have our clutch lever. This is what's going to allow you to shift your gears. So essentially what this is, is in a normal car or anything that you drive, you know how the RPMs go up and then they kind of drop. You could feel it like changing uh, speed. That is your car changing gears. On dirt bikes, you have to do that by yourself manually. That's where most people have trouble. That's why most people watch these videos, unless you have a brand new e-bike. So the clutch is right here. That's what's going to allow you to shift the gears. And down here is your shift lever. So you want to just go over everything, get a feel for the clutch, as you normally would, right? Get a feel for it. What you're going to want to do is when you're riding, you're just going to slowly let out the clutch while you give it gas. Older dirt bikes like this that have a mechanical clutch, it's going to be a lot easier to stall the bike. Just stay patient. It starts to get hard for you. You know, Take a break, come back to it. It's, it's not a rush. This is where you turn on your gas. You're going to need that to be on for the bike to start. This, like I said, is your kick start. This is what's going to allow you to start the bike. Before you can start the bike, you want to make sure you're in neutral. So you would push down to go into first. Then in between, you push up just a little bit to get it into neutral. And the way you can tell you're in neutral is slide the bike forward. If it moves like that, you know you're in neutral. If it kind of jerks, you know you're in gear. And as you need to shift gears, you can shift up and shift down. Before you start to actually ride, you want to find a nice flat area like this. You know, if you have an open field, it's better. But find somewhere that's nice and flat. Uh, so you have time to prepare to, to stop in anything. If you're out on rocky terrain and stuff over as the trails over here, it's just going to make it harder and you're going to be more likely to crash. Start somewhere nice and easy, get used to the, how everything feels, and you can go and explore from there. All right, guys, so now we're going to get to the actual riding portion of this video. So, like I said, my gas is on. I'm in neutral. Make sure you're in neutral over here. 
to be able to start the bike. All right, kickstart is down here. If you have your electric start, just push the button. I do not, so we're gonna kickstart it. All right, so now the bike is on. We are in neutral. This is where the next step comes in, right? In order to go, you need to be in first gear to start. This is where you're probably gonna stall the most. It's okay, it's part of the learning process. Practice makes perfect. I want you to practice this step more than anything else. This is gonna be the most important part of it. Remember to cover your brakes in case you panic. What happens a lot of times is people, when they start to give a throttle, which is right here, they tend to panic. You know, they give it too much throttle and they end up crashing. So cover your brake. If you panic for any reason, grab the brake. It's better to fall because you're going too slow. You know, you stop yourself and lock up your brakes than to be going too fast and smash into a tree. So, like I said, you have to be in first gear. So what are we going to do? We're going to pull in the clutch. That's what lets us shift gears, okay? Now, keep the clutch in at all times until you're ready to ride. Now you're going to push the gear shifter down into first. Right? So now you're in first gear. What you're going to want to do now is very, very, very slowly let out the clutch while you give it a little bit of gas. Just a little bit. Watch how much I touch this. That's all you need. Not, not that. Not that much. Just a little bit. Like that, okay? So you're going to slowly let out the clutch while you give it just a little bit of gas. So a little bit of gas. Rev it up a little bit. And slowly let out the clutch. Until it's all the way out. And that's it. I'm going as slow as I can on this bike. This is a YZ250, so it does not like to go slow. But uh, yeah, so now you're in first gear. Woohoo! A little slippery today. Be aware if it's muddy, you know, you're gonna do a little slipping. It's okay, it's perfectly normal, all right? Now, anytime you come to a stop, you don't have to go into neutral to stop. I'm still in first gear, right? But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure the clutch is pulled in. If the clutch is out, you stall. So that's why you always want to have the clutch in if you're still in gear. Now it's kind of hard to figure out when you're in neutral if you're on an older bike. When the bike is running, right? I know I've gotten it down pat so far. You can see I'm in neutral now. It's just a little click up. Most people shift up into second. They get stuck be in between first and second and they think they're in neutral but they're either in first or second. Push all the way down into first and then just a little tiny click up. And that's it. Then you're in neutral. We're going to do that one more time. I'm going to show you guys that. Practice this over and over. Practice coming to a slow stop by hitting both your front and rear brake. So, sorry, I did that a little fast. We'll do that again. Okay. Clutch in. We're in neutral. We're going to push down into first. Now we're in first gear. Slowly let out the clutch while you're giving it throttle. That's it. Nice and easy until you're going, right? Then when you're ready to stop, pull in the clutch, nice and easy, hit the brakes, and stop. And like I said, you can stay in first gear if you want. I think the best way for you to learn is come back up into neutral. The way you find out you're in neutral is let the clutch out very slowly and see what happens while you're giving it gas, like you're in gear. Now, if it does that, I'm in neutral. That's how you'll learn you're in neutral or not. You could leave the bike running for this process. So you're gonna pull the clutch in again, down into first gear, let the clutch out very, very slowly while giving it a little bit of gas, and just keep, see how the clutch isn't out all the way yet? Watch that, guys. Watch how slowly I let out this clutch. You'll see how fast I'm moving, but I don't even have the clutch out all the way. That's what I'm stressing here, guys. You gotta let the clutch out very slowly. Right, see? Still not out, still not out, still not out. Now it's out all the way. Now another big thing too guys, is as flat as this area is, there is still some rocks. The biggest advice I can give to new riders is to stand up while you ride. If you stand while you ride, the bike absorbs all of the rocks and everything. Whereas if you are sitting on the bike, you absorb all the rocks and everything. And uh, that really messes you up. That's going to make it way more likely to crash. It sounds a little weird because you're not used to it, but just do yourself a favor and uh, stand up on the bike. Woo! <laughs> Sorry guys, got a little excited. So like I said, that's what I want you guys to practice. 
when you pull in the clutch, it disengages the gears. So you can give it all the throttle in the world. You can be full throttle. You're not going anywhere if your clutch is in all the way. Um, so whenever you're slowing down, that's a way I like to slow down as well is with the clutch. If you're already going really fast, the clutch isn't brakes. It's basically just letting you coast. Like if you've ever driven an automatic car and you ever put it in a neutral while you're driving, which, you know, you shouldn't do. But to anybody who's ever tried that, it's the same feeling. You're basically just coasting. So I actually almost never go in a neutral while I'm riding a dirt bike. The only time I'm in neutral is when I'm stopped for like a long period of time or when I'm starting up a bike. So if I'm coming up to like a trail or something and I'm going to come to a stop, I stay in gear. I keep my clutch in and I stay in first gear. So you guys can practice that as well. That's why I want you to practice slowing down and stopping with your brakes with the clutch in and in first gear rather than just going in a neutral so all you're doing is while you're riding if you want to change gears you have to pull in the clutch to change the gears so while you're moving you pull in the clutch let's say you're down in first right you push down in the first you let out the clutch you're riding right now you're going to go into second you pull in the clutch let off the gas a little bit and push up in the second gear and then you let out the clutch and give it gas again and it's the same process and you do that throughout all the gears as time goes on you'll learn what gear you need to be in based upon what speed i'm going to show you this step and then we're going to go on to the next step which is going to be how to downshift down here is the choke it's going to be in different areas depending on the bike but right there that's choke so you turn that on to start it like i said my bike's been running for a while so i don't need to do that once the bike is warmed up you don't have to use the choke but if the bike hasn't ran in a while it's going to make it a lot easier you don't want to ride with the choke on that's an important note the choke has to be off while you're riding. It's very bad for your bike to ride with the choke on. Start it up. Clutch in. Down in the first gear. Once again, let out the clutch slowly. Little bit of gas. That's it, right? So now we want to shift, right? So what are we going to do when we shift? It's the same thing again. Except, the, except instead of pushing down in the first, we're going to push up in the second on the shift lever. So ready? We're riding, okay? So clutch in, push up, let out the clutch and give it more gas. Like I said, once you're moving, it's a lot easier with the shifting, you'll notice. So if we go into third, it's the same thing again. You pull in the clutch, you shift up, now we're in third, which is way too high of a gear for the speed that we're going. How are you? Nice day for a walk. Like I said, you want to be in a nice flat area for this. We're going to push down in the first. Always keep that clutch in while you're moving, unless you're in neutral. We're going to let out the clutch very slowly and give it gas. All right, we're in first gear. We're going to go up in a second. Clutch in, shift up. Now we're in second gear. And that's it, guys. That's all you got to do. You just keep doing that, and you'll be in, uh, you'll be in good shape. I'm going to turn us around here again. <laughs> so now we've talked about shifting up shifting a little bit now we're going to talk about downshifting now you can know you need to downshift when the bike sounds like it's going to die it sounds like it sounds very boggy it's like bruh 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 because it's not getting an it's because you're in too high of a gear the bike's not going to be happy when you're slowing down you're going to have to downshift to match that so, like I said, you're going to learn over time, based upon what gear you're in, how happy the bike is. There's no RPM gauge on a dirt bike, so you just learn by doing, basically. So, I'm going to go up in a second, probably, and then I'll show you that sound where it sounds like it's bogging. And, uh, you know, then I'll show you how to downshift. Downshifting. Downshifting is the same principle. All you have to do is pull the clutch in, and then just push down. That's it. It's the same exact thing. It's much easier than what you guys are probably thinking. So, like I said, for now we're going to be up shifting, but I'm going to show you how to downshift in a second. So I'm down, pushing down into first gear. Let out the clutch slowly, give it throttle. Same thing. Shift it up into second. Right, now let's say we're slowing down. We want to go into first gear, right? So what are, you, what are we going to do? It's the exact opposite of up shifting. You can hear the bike's kind of, kind of boggy a little bit. Hear that? Hear it sounds a little boggy? So you're just going to pull in the clutch and push down on the shift lever. Clutch in, push down, let out the clutch slowly, give it gas. 
That's it. It's the exact same thing as upshifting, except instead of going up, you're going down. So now once you get the hang of that and you start to get used to it, the next step is going to be to practice riding. The best way for you to practice riding is start out in first or second gear, depending on, you know, how fast or slow your bike is, and just practice riding. Like I said, stand up and just ride around. You know, practice shifting every now and then, but just get a feel for the bike and don't go, don't go flying, don't go all over the place, you know. Don't go anywhere where you're going to get in trouble. Just uh, go nice and easy. Take your time and uh, it'll get easier as time goes on. The next step you're going to want to do is learn how to, it's called feathering the clutch. You're going to want to learn the clutch. The better you can have an understanding of where the clutch grabs, the easier it's going to be for you to ride. So you're basically just going to, you know, go at slow speeds, really slow, and just play with the clutch and get a feel for how it reacts while giving it just a little bit of gas. Like I said, you want to do a lot of practicing of the first parts of that video before you start to do this, but that's going to be another important aspect to riding as well. <laughs> yeah, a little shredding. You practice starting the bike, you've practiced going up and down in first gear while you're comfortable, while you're standing. You've practiced shifting up, practice shifting down. As you get more practice, you could shift into higher and, and lower gears, right? Next step, like I said, you want to learn the clutch. Feathering the clutch is important because while you're in trails and stuff, there's going to be a lot of times where you're in lower gear and you have to pull in your clutch to kind of maneuver yourself. So, like right here, you know, I'm coming up around this, so I want to pull in the clutch and just get used to it. You go around everything, right? You go nice and easy. Sometimes you hit a rock or something, you go a little weird, you pull in the clutch. Using the clutch is like my savior whenever I mess up. I'm going super, super, super slow for the purposes of this video. But when you're going fast and you're ripping over stuff, you know, you start to make a mistake or something, you catch some air, I always just pull in the clutch. And I don't know if it's the fact that this bike has a steel frame so it's super heavy, or what the situation is, but it's much, much easier. So like I said, practice nice and easy just with that clutch. Practice just letting it out. And this is going to be a good way for you guys to learn how first gear works for you as well. You know? Like I said, once you decide to get to a point where you want to start to hit some trails, that's when you, uh, that's when you can start to apply everything you've started to learn. A huge, huge thing, which, you know, I'm sure you guys are probably going to be avoiding, is momentum. So that's why you really want to get used to riding before you get to this step. Because once you go over all these rocks and things like I'm going through right now, you need momentum. And the rockier it gets, the better your momentum will help you. If you go really slow, like right now I'm going slow over rocky stuff, you're kind of bouncing back and forth on the bike. If you're going slow, you know, it's harder. You're going over big rocks, right? Like, let's go slow. You know, oh, look, oh, kind of off balance. Whereas if you just go, big rocks, doesn't matter. You just go right over everything. So your momentum is your friend, guys. And that is a huge thing when it comes to new riders as well, is once you get the hang of all the other stuff I was talking about, it's so important to remember that momentum is your friend. When you're riding in rocky areas and trails and stuff, your momentum is what's going to get you over all of the rocks, bumps, trees, any and everything. You need your momentum. If you don't have your momentum, it's going to make it 10 times harder. Same thing with going downhills. You know, I've got a bunch of videos and all kinds of things, you know, dirt biking. I've got a playlist called uh, Dirt Bike Vlogs and, and that's what I talk about is different things when it comes to riding. Just practice at slower speeds while you're learning. Once you get a little practice, you'll be in good shape. So that's going to do it for that.